Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my One Week Later comic book recaps. This time it's episode 18. And today I'm going to be discussing books that were released on the 10th of April 2019. Of course, as always, I start with DC. Now, the one book that started to get a little bit of steam initially was this one. Detective Comics, issue 1001. Now, uh, of course, this is the the first full appearance of the Arkham Knight, and this is his first cover appearance, now in continuity. Now, sets of both covers A and B were going for around about $20 for the set. Another pre-sale went for $13.99 with free shipping. Um, congratulations to that seller. He didn't just get a nibble, but a full-on bite. Recent sales, though, however, put this back, book back at around cover price. But going forwards, I do believe that this is going to be at least double cover. So it's a long-term hold, I believe. You can still find both covers, this one and the Finch, at midtown at this time of writing. As for the remaining DC comic books <clears throat> for the week, most of, if not all, can still be found on uh, online retailers for cover price. Two books that a lot of people speculate might do well was, first off, Catwoman issue 10 from Art Germ, as you can see there, the UK price still going for cover. And the other one that had a little bit of heat was the um, nice Perillo cover to Red Hood and the Outlaws. A lot of Skeletor look about it. But uh, like I said, the B covers, the striking as they are, they're not getting a lot of spec value. And uh, pretty much goes for Marvel as well this week. It was a pretty light week. Just about all of them can still be found at your local LCSs or online retailers for cover. The only ones worth mentioning that sold out was uh, Marvel Tales Thanos issue one. And we are talking the Virgin variant, which is a one in 50. And good luck trying to find this one. Uh, it's probably easier to find Willy Wonka's golden ticket. What can I tell you about the book? Uh, like I say, if you manage to get them early on, you've got a nice flip there because that is a $150 book now. Um, so, you know, if you pay back 25 to 30, you're on a winner. Now, the other book that was high on ratio uh was the web of venom cult of carnage issue one again an incentive and it's a delotto variant again a one in 50. my lcs's don't get these big incentives in and if they did well if they do they're putting them straight up onto ebay because never get an opportunity at these ones which is a shame um midtown in, uh, across the pond listed these initially for $85 but they're selling anywhere between 50 to 70 now so don't pay retailer prices buy on the secondary market if you want a discount and you missed out onto the Indian small publisher books one book that uh, I had a look for didn't see it was from Aftershock Comics it didn't sell out fast but Orphan Age had a little bit of buzz about it. This is the re uh, regular cover for Orphan Age. That's the, the cover in question, guys. They wanted to do something, um, and it was sold out initially at some of the retailers, but it hasn't had a whole lot of love on the secondary market. You can still find it for regular cover. Um, and sometimes even for undercover price. But the 1 in 10 variant, which is this book here, did have a little bit of success. And uh, it was going slightly above the retailer set price, which, which was going on from around about maximum of $15 with most recent sales. So if you picked it up for 10, you've picked up a fiver. Uh, not great. A couple of the 1 in 10s did reach the 20 price tag at maximum value, but of course that was very brief. So it was a light week, wasn't it? By word it was. 
And as usual, I'm going to do my podium positions. And uh, my bronze this week goes to what I think is going to be a nice long-term hold, and that is Detective Comics issue 1001. The first full appearance and cover appearance of the Arkham Knight. It's a mass-produced book, but long-term, I think that's going to go for double figures. So that's my bronze. My silver this week goes to Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage. The one in 50 from Del Otto. And my book of the week, for you lucky enough to get it for cheap, was Marvel Tales featuring Thanos. It was a Jen Bertel 1 in 50 variant cover. That is going for mega bucks, guys. So that's it. Short and sweet this week. If you've got any of those books I've just showcased, good on you. That's Daz Overnight. Bye for now.